Welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. This is going to be my email address where you can send me your valuable feedback. So today we're doing CAT 2006 paper question number 59. This was the ninth question in the uh, CAT 2006 paper in the quantitative section. So let's go ahead and do this question. So if you watched the set theory video, it very well say in the beginning that you have to recognize that the question is from set theory. So you can very well see here this question is from the set theory concept. And there's a survey for 100 people and find out whether they had read recent issues of Goldman uh, monthly magazine. The summarized information regarding readership in three months is given below. So uh, what you have to do is you just uh, have to draw the diagram. So that is very, very critical that you draw the diagram. So let me say this area denotes September. This area here denotes July and this area here denotes August, right? Okay, now let's try filling all the areas. Okay, so let me change my pen so I can uh, go ahead and solve both of them. All right, so it says only September is 18. So this area here is only September. Okay, September but not August. September but not August. That will denote this area and this area because this whole area is September and this whole area is August so that means the whole area of September but not August means not including this and not including this that means September but not August that means this plus this would be equal to 23 that means this is equal to 5 right then it says September and July is equal to 8 September and July is this whole area if this whole is equal to 8 that means this is equal to 3 right and saying September is equal to 28 now this whole September is equal to 28 that means sum of all the areas of September would be 28 that means if I add all of them they should give me 28 that means this must be equal to 2 here right so I filled in whole September now you can see he's asking me uh, what is the number of surveyed people who have read exactly two consecutive uh, issues right so uh, let's we just have to find this this and this and then we'll be able to solve the question then it says July is equal to 48 July is equal to 48 now that won't help me that much because you see uh, I'm, I have to find this and have to find this so let me read the next one what if it gives me a clue July and August is equal to 10 July and August is this whole area that means this must be equal to 7 then only 7 plus 3 will be equal to 10 now he's asking me, what is the number of surveyed people who have read exactly two consecutive issues? Two consecutive issues doesn't mean exactly two out of three. Two consecutive issues means they have read the magazine in consecutively two months. So there are three months. There is July, there is August, there is September. So people who have read for July and August would be two consecutive months. And people who have read for August and September would be two consecutive months. July and September will not come in two consecutive months because they are not two consecutive months. There is August in between as well. So July and August is nothing but July and August is nothing but there are seven people. Now he's saying exactly two. So these three people will not be included in that because they read more than two magazines. Okay. They've sorry, they've read for all the months July, August and September. So it's only July and August that is seven. Then only September and August that is two people that is two again. That means a total of nine people have read that the magazine for exactly two consecutive issues. Exactly two. So exactly two doesn't include three, right? So it's just exactly two. So the trick was you would have given your answer as 14 because if you see by the set theory question, exactly two out of three is nothing but 14. But he's saying for exactly two consecutive issues means it has to be for exactly two months that will be consecutive that means July and August and August and September will not include July and September right so I hope this solved the question and uh, it was an easy question not that difficult question could have taken you just um, a, a minute or two to solve this right so the important thing is is to recognize the question is from set theory and just get started with the question and things will automatically emerge later when you start solving it so thank you very much and keep watching for more videos and don't forget me to don't forget to send me your valuable feedback right so thank you